measurement, EMF, and terminal voltage. Voltmeter. Voltage is measured with a voltmeter. That makes sense. Voltmeters are connected in parallel with whatever you're measuring. Okay, here's the voltmeter, and you're measuring the voltage across this resistor. They measure the difference in potential between two points. Since circuits in parallel have the same voltage, and a voltmeter has very high resistance, very little current passes through it. This means that it has little effect on the circuit. But whatever this reads, the voltmeter, that will be the voltage across that resistor. Current is measured using an ammeter. Okay, current's measured in amps, so it's measured using an ammeter. Ammeters are placed in series with the circuit. In order not to interfere with the current, the ammeter has a very low resistance. But the current going through the ammeter is the same as going through this resistor. Although there are separate items to measure current and voltage, there are devices that can measure both, of course one at a time. These devices are called multimeters. They can also measure resistance. And you can click here for a nice simulation on circuits, and it shows you where to put the uh, voltmeters and ammeters. A battery is a source of voltage and resistance. Here's our battery here. Here's our plus terminal. Here's the negative terminal. Each battery has a source of electromotive force, right here, the voltage, and an internal resistance. The internal resistance is modeled with a virtual internal resistor. It is not a real resistor, but it just models the resistance inside the battery. Electromotive force, EMF, is the process that carries charge from low to high voltage. Another way to think about it is that EMF, right over here, is the voltage you measure when no resistance is connected to the circuit. So you don't have anything there, and if you put a voltmeter here, since no current is flowing, you will measure the EMF. Terminal voltage, or V sub T, is the voltage measured when a voltmeter is connected across the terminals of the battery. If there is no circuit attached, no current flows, and the measurement will equal the EMF. If, however, a circuit is attached, the internal resistance will result in a voltage drop and a smaller terminal voltage. We can then say that the terminal voltage, Vt, is equal to EMF minus IR, is a maximum when there is no current flowing, right? If there's no current, Vt would just equal the max voltage or the max EMF. When solving for equivalent resistance in a circuit, the internal resistance of the battery, this guy right here, is considered a series resistor because right, all the charges flow like that. So R equivalent will equal R internal plus R external. And R internal is represented by little r there. A battery with an EMF of 12 volts and an internal resistance of 0 0.50 ohms is connected in series to a 15 ohm resistor. What is the current in the circuit? We have our givens where the EMF right over here it's 12 volts the internal resistance is 0 0.50 ohms and the external resistance is 15 ohms so we need to solve for i here's our terminal voltage equation but another way of looking at that if we just measure from here to here that gives us our terminal voltage and that will equal the current through the circuit times the external resistance right here so we have two equations for terminal voltage. We set them equal to each other. We put all the currents on the left side of the equation by adding plus i little r to each side, factor out the i, and we find that the current is equal to the EMF divided by big R plus little r. Or if we just started with the uh, EMF here, and let me just erase that. I don't want to keep circling the same colors. If we just did this, Okay, we could find the current would be equal to E over the equivalent resistance of the circuit, which would be little r plus big R. So either way works. Then we substitute in our values. The EMF is 12 volts, the two resistors 15 plus 0.5, and we get 0.77 amps. A battery with an EMF of 12 volts and an internal resistance of 0 0.50 ohms is connected in series to a 15 ohm resistor. What is the terminal voltage of the battery?
we have the same givens from example 1, and in example 1 we found that the current is 0.77 amps. So we use our terminal voltage formula, which is I times R, this resistance here, and we're measuring between the two terminals of the battery. So it's 0.77 amps times 15 ohms, 11.6 volts.